Using a plier, I will remove the top three plastic clips. After the last plastic clip has been removed, we will remove the six bolts. This is what's holding the hood screw in place. After the last bolt has been removed, there's going to be two small white plastic clips, usually pliers, to compress them. If you have been following all the steps, the hood scoop should come up with a little bit of movement. So here's what we will need. Alcohol towels, cutting tape, vinyl wrap, orange edge trimmer, a blue squeegee, an exacto knife, and safety vinyl cutter. Use alcohol wipes or alcohol to clean the hood scoop and remove any contaminants. Now flip the hood scoop and get the back edges. This is where the vinyl will be folded. Wipe the hood scoop one more time if needed.
Now use cutting tape and apply to follow along the bending side of the hood scoop. I use the hair dryer to soften the tape. Repeat the same steps on the other side. Cut the vinyl wrap in a rectangular shape and make sure that the cutted piece is more than enough to cover the hood scoop. I left about an extra inch on the right and left side, but more in the back. I then began by peeling off the front left side of the vinyl and sticked it onto the hood scoop. I then moved to the right side and did the same thing. Make sure that the carbon fiber pattern lines are as you want them. If you don't like them, you can detach it and apply it again. Use your hands to press on the vinyl wrap and remove any bubbles. Now that you have a starting point, remove the paper from the vinyl. I use the squeegee and move from center to the back while keeping the paper elevated. If a mistake is made or bubbles don't seem to go away, put the vinyl carefully and reattach to the surface. Keep using the squeegee and move from center to the back and center to the side. Again, if you need to readjust the vinyl, do it but carefully. I then moved to the left corner and I used the heat gun to soften the wrap. 
I continue to use my fingers to press down on the vinyl. I added more heat and continue to use my fingers to mold and remove any wrinkles or bubbles. I kept using the blue Ouija, moving from the center to the back, and some of the paper kept attaching to the back of the hood scoop. So I would recommend doing this with another person because it's always better to have four hands than just two. If you encounter any bubbles or wrinkles, you use the squeegee or your hands. Make sure to do this gently and use the heat gun on the corners. Gently press on the paper and mold it. Once you get to this point, use the X-Acto knife to create two relief cuts, uh, but make sure not to remove a lot of the material, just enough to be able to work with it. Once you get to this part, use the X-Acto knife again and create those relief cuts. If you have to use the X-Acto knife again, use it but make sure to leave enough to cover the bottom of the hood scoop. Add heat to the corners of the hood scoop and use your fingers to mold the vinyl wrap. I use the X-Acto knife to cut some of the material, but I make sure to leave enough to cover the bottom part of the hood scoop. Grab the squeegee and apply the rest of the binner wrap. If you see any bubbles or wrinkles, remember that you can detach the binner wrap, but remember to not stretch it because you can mess up 
the carbon fiber pattern. I kept using the heat gun and my hand to mold the vinyl wrap. I used the X-Acto knife to create some relief cuts. This was so I could wrap the vinyl around the edges of the hood scoop. Again, I used the X-Acto knife to create more relief cuts and be able to work with the vinyl. Use the squeegee to keep applying the vinyl wrap and make sure to remove any bubbles or wrinkles. Now that we got to this part we're gonna rotate the hood scoop and fold the wrap around the edges of the hood scoop. If you need to use the squeegee to remove any bubbles, do it, or use your hands to keep molding and pressing on the vinyl wrap. For this part, we're gonna use the X-Acto knife again and create more relief cuts. Now fold the rest of the vinyl around the edges of the hood scoop and use a heat gun if you have to.
this is what the wrap looks so far. I'm gonna use the X-Acto knife to cut some of the extra vinyl and this will allow me to pull on the cutting tape. To do this, find the string on the cutting tape and place your thumb on the vinyl. Once you're there, pull on the string and go through without stopping. Now you can remove the cutting material and you should have a straight line. Voila! I then added heat to the recent cut, pressing firmly on it to make sure it's well put. Grab the X-Acto knife and cut the extra vinyl wrap. Repeat the same steps we did on the left side to cut with the cutting tape. I peeled off some of the vinyl wrap and added two strips of cutting tape. I did this on both sides. Now apply the vinyl wrap again. Make sure it's well put and use the heat gun if you need to. Now we're gonna do the same thing again. Grab the string, place your thumb on the vinyl, and pull through.
So here's what the final result looks like. Not bad. So here I'm using the X-Acto knife to cut the extra material and I make sure to leave just enough to be able to wrap it around the edges of the hood scoop.
here's another look of what the final result looks like. There is no bubbles, the cuts seem really clear, really nice. I like this final result.